Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. I have a lovely little project here to share with you. I have to confess it has been the longest time in the making, not because it's overly uh, difficult or anything like that, just that I started it in the summer, cut everything out. I don't quite know what happened but that's where it stayed and I just don't like leaving things undone because I've got two options then I either finish them or I throw everything away and I'm not really into throwing everything away as those of you who follow me regularly know so I have today finished this it's still hot off the press so to speak but it is a little bit of Alice in Wonderland and you know it is such a favourite and something that I really have enjoyed uh, working on and seeing on YouTube. It is a constant favourite with a lot of people and therefore when I saw this kit which was different colourways than anything I'd seen before and I apologise for not remembering who the designer is but I did buy it on Etsy and if you're interested what you'd need to do is just type in Alice in Wonderland digi kits and a whole wealth comes up and then it's like I did basically trawling through until you find something that suits your particular style but I just love the colour in this so this is the front cover I've actually made it out of chipboard and um, wallpaper the embossed wallpaper because I do like that and it gives such a lovely texture it's quite strong and lends itself to the covers you've still got enough room to put your little corners on to keep them safe so it works really well this is the side with journal on it a little bit of the rose tri trib oh excuse me I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh beg your pardon <coughs> And uh, glue strands, mandatory glue strands, because I've not got around and, and peeled them all off. I just needed to film and put it out there, basically. The back is very, very plain, as you can see. And it is full of all the things you would expect to see in, an, in a journal featuring Alice in Wonderland. Well, it's not a journal, it's an album of sorts. This is eight and three quarters in length and just two inches in the spine, which is quite a nice size and would, you know, sort of fit anywhere really. So when you open it up, we open up immediately to this flip and in here we have three double sided pieces with all the necessary images on it wonderland curious and wonderland again in each of the pockets there are some um, tags or journaling spots depending on what you look for excuse me sniffing now let's get that back in there now oops another little tag in the center they're all pretty much, oh, two in there, beg your pardon. There's a, an excerpt from the book. And it's Alice's evidence. So I, I assume in that she is meeting up the Queen of Hearts. Another little down the rabbit hole tag there. I think I'll put these back in later. And then there are some bigger areas like this and it's almost a postcard size that you could journal on on the back. So these have not been reinforced with card. You could even pop a um, photograph in them if that's what you so desired. So that just slips back in there like that. Then there are two areas that I have literally just stuck images to um, punched out this lovely lacy trimmed edge and done a little bit of stamping on so you have room to journal you have room to add photographs there are a couple of little tuck spots with 
also journaling areas or clearly that can be made up into a full envelope and utilised but it fits in there Oops, really really nicely and covers the page as well. I, I would say it was a writing journal although what I'm planning to do is give this to a little girl who whose mummy takes lots and lots of photographs and I'm hoping that she will use it to put photographs in of, of Sophia's activities so that when she's older she can hand it over and let her see all the wonderful things they did together as a family so that's that's the idea around it and her mum who's a who's a a teacher of young children I'm sure will come up with lots of little things that she can include to keep the memory alive. In the centre here is the little dingle dangle, very tiny but it is glued in with um, Yoohoo glue, more stamping and images and so it goes and so it goes tag shaped images, squared off images, plenty of room as I say to journal and add things to the page and then in the very centre is a lovely area that just opens up like this. I've kept this blank and here are really really deep pockets so if there were tickets or uh, memorabilia that needed to be kept safe then clearly that would be the place to put them. It's only got the little thumb tags on the inside because I wanted it otherwise to just look like more pages, more images, 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 blank pages, another envelope scenario here but this time it's a spotty dotty Again, I've not made it up into an envelope because I do think that makes lovely journaling spots for secret things that you don't want everyone to see with the glorious imagery going on as well. On this page is a lovely belly band that is the length of the page and tucked behind it are tags and areas that you can write on again or add photos to if that's what you want to do it really has i'd forgotten how very very pretty this kit is to be honest and then when i started working on it again to complete what i'd started so to speak it just reminded me of why I actually wanted to work with this kit because it is, I'm hoping you're agreeing, a very very lovely lovely kit. There is um, quite a bit in it as, as I recall, lots of ephemera, lots of um, backing papers and that kind of thing. The thing, always what you'd expect with a digital kit more and more and more of the little rabbit I've got to go around and try and clear off some of this excess glue that will s it dries shiny and it absolutely drives me potty but it is what it is you have to then go around and try and clear off the excess as best you can but I think most glues would be the same if you overdo it and I do tend to splash it on all over as they say or used to say more imagery more full covered pages more snippets from the book I just think it's absolutely lovely and then on the back page more and more and more and there are the three pockets again double sided with images in it from the postcards to more of the tags and you know so it goes this is this is my um, most recent finished make so I will go back and try and <laughs> remove all the gluey bits so that they don't look unsightly when I wrap it up and hand it over but I wanted to share it with you prior to um, passing it on so thank you very much for sharing this time with me as always it's nice to bring something a bit different to them into the mix 
Um, I'm sat here actually looking at the next project that I need to be working on. So I will wish you all happy crafting. Stay warm and look after each other. Take care and bye bye for now.